Hi, I'm Drew Kong from Golf Digest Singapore, and here with today with um, Lexi Thompson. Hi. You know, star on the LPGA Tour. Welcome to Singapore, Thank and you. I'm sure you're excited to play in the HSBC Women's Champions this year. Uh, what are you looking forward to um, at the tournament this year? Well, what I'm looking forward to the most is just playing an amazing golf course. It's always in great shape for us, and hopefully, playing in front of a lot of fans this week. Okay, fantastic. Um, people don't realize they've, they've seen you for a few years now on the tour, mm -hmm. doing very well. People don't realize you're only 19 still, you know. <laughs> um, you started out um, very young on the, on the tour, one at a very young age. Um, for players who are in their teens, you know, looking forward to turning professional eventually, you know, what sort of advice would you give them in, in terms of, you know, shaping up their, their, their games and their education in order to mm -hmm. get them ready for the professional tours? I would say the biggest advice I have for them is just, you know, know what you're, what you're getting yourself into. You know, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of dedication. You're traveling a lot, pretty much, you know, you're home once a week. I mean, you know, one week out of a month, pretty much. So you have to know what you're getting yourself into. It's a lot of practice, but, you know, if you love the game, you have to go for your dreams. And that's what I did. I knew I wanted to play out in the LPGA Tour, you know, for the rest of my life. And it was always my dream, so. You know, just have fun with it, you know, make a few friends that play golf and, you know, really get into it and be competitive about it. Um, you know, in Singapore and in Asia in general, education is a big thing. Mm -hmm. you know, people, you know, always put ed education first. Yeah. You know, perhaps in the U.S. is it's slightly different. You know, as you were growing up and you were getting more serious in, in, in playing golf, there must have been a point in time when you, you have to decide, will I go to college or will I turn professional mm -hmm. and play golf? Uh, maybe you want to walk us through the thought processes that you had, you know, during that time, and and you know what what pushed you towards the professional career other than playing college golf. Yeah, I did online schooling since sixth grade, so I did that. I graduated two years ago. I graduated a year early, okay. but um, I, you know, I pretty much knew I wanted to focus on golf 100%, and um, knew I wasn't really going the college route at a pretty young age. But you know, college is always there. I can always take online courses while I'm traveling. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go and you know take the courses, but you know, I love being out here and traveling and playing golf, and I think that's what I was meant to do. So you know I don't regret any decision. You know I love it. Okay. And we're the and we're the beneficiaries of that, obviously. <laughs> um, you you mentioned you travel a lot as a professional, and the LPG has become a really a bona fide. Uh, global tour. Yes. You guys played in Thailand last week. You know you played in Singapore, and then you're gonna do the U.S. swing and come back over here again at <laughs> the end of the year. Um, how that? How does that fit with your personality? Do you enjoy this global game? Because I know many players from the U.S. They they rather not travel. They want to probably stay in the mm -hmm. U.S. But um, it's, the game is different these days. And how do you how do you address that personally? It is very different. I mean, it's a global tour. We travel all around the world. I mean, we pretty much start in Asia and end in Asia at the end of the year. But, you know, I love it. You know, you get to travel to see different cultures, meet different people. And, you know, over here in Asia, the golf courses are amazing. And people love their golf over here. So I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, it's a long flight, but it's well worth it once we get here. Um, who do you hang out with on the tour? And what do you guys do when you guys are not banging balls on the green <laughs> golf thing at, <laughs> at the tournament? Yeah, I hang out with quite a few people out here. You know, there's a few players I actually grew up playing junior and amateur golf with, like Jay Marie Green, Austin Ernst, Jennifer Johnson. So I'm pretty good friends with them. You know, we're regular people. We will just go out and hang out, go see movies, go sightsee, or pretty much just relax. I mean, when we're not golfing, we're regular people. So <laughs> just right when we step foot on that golf course, we're That's a whole right. different person. <laughs> Absolutely, I've seen you guys hit. Yeah. You don't hit like the average golfer. No. Um, Players seem to be getting younger and younger. You have seen a whole yeah. bunch of teenagers. I mean, you're still a teen, but I mean, still. I mean, you have 14-year-old, 15-year-olds, mm -hmm. you know, coming out and playing, you know, playing on professional tour. Um, how do you view that, and what do you attribute to this, you know, the surge in uh, in so many promising teenage prof uh, teenage golfers out there? Mm -hmm. The game is getting a lot younger. I mean, I thought I was the young one out here, but now you have Lydia Ko and she's 16. Yeah. So I think it's very cool to see, you know, younger players getting involved with the game. And I think we're helping that with the golf movement, especially in women's golf. You see a lot of little girls watching us play. And, you know, it means so much to us that we're role models for little kids that are just starting to play the game. And, you know, they get to see how, how much we love it and, you know, how much we enjoy just being out there. So I think it's great to see. And I, 
we're going to see a lot more younger players out here, I'm sure. I'm sure about that. <laughs> um, you have two, two brothers. I do. And they're, one of them is a professional, and mm -hmm. he's got a card on the PGA Tour, I believe. Yep. And the other one's a very promising golfer in college. Yep. Um, growing up, um, obviously they started playing golf first, but obviously you have, you have had tremendous success. How does, uh, how does your relationship with your, with your brothers help or hinder your, the development of your golf game or your career as a professional? They've helped me out so much with my golf game. Growing up, I live on a golf course. I started golfing when I was five years old. So they were pretty much really into it when I got started. So I used to always follow them. And the, golf, the game of golf just grew on me from them. And they've always been there to support me and help me out with my golf game. And, you know, for the last few years, I, I've moved back to the back tees and just tried to play them straight up. And I think it's made me so much better of a player. I've always tried to hit it longer with them and always try to beat them. And I think that's where I've got my competitive attitude. And, has helped me out so much okay. on and off the golf course. If they play from the black tees and the, the back tees and you play from your regular tees, tees. Who, who wins most of the time? <laughs> you take their money or they take yours? It depends. I have taken their money. Okay. <laughs> but usually, usually they do beat me, but I have beat them a few times. Okay. But I play them straight up. All right. No shots given. Fantastic. <laughs> If you had one advice to a uh, promising or an aspiring teenage golfer out there in Singapore mm -hmm. looking to you to tell them something that uh, would get them to on the right track uh -huh. towards their career, what would that be? I would say probably just practice hard, you know, love what you do and just go out with a purpose when you practice, always try to improve on everything in your game. Um, you know. Golf is always a challenge. Even when you're struggling, you have to pick yourself back up and always try to fight to be better. And you know that's why I love the game. It's always challenging. You'd never be perfected at it. Fantastic, Lexi. Thank you very much for your time you and much. all the best this week at the HSBC Women's Championship. Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Ju Kwang from Golf Digest Singapore.